think I'm recording. Yeah, all right. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my tube. I'm gonna make a short video here uh, about P lips. It's a weird name, I know, but I have come to like P lips. Actually, I love them. Um, now, I know for all you old-time pipe smokers, uh, the, the classic P-Lip, of course, is the Peterson. I do have one Peterson P-Lip pipe, and even though I say I love P-Lips, I haven't smoked it yet. I have probably five Savinelli P-Lips. Let me show you one of my favorites. Let's see if you can see this. This is a Savinelli, what do they call it? They're all, they're all numbers, you know. It's a uh, 23, no, excuse me, 21, 21 dry system. Now, I really like this pipe. Let's see if you can see that P lip. You know, they have sort of an elongated P lip here. I think you can see that. This is a quarter bent pot. Really cool. A state pipe. Love it, bought it, cleaned it up, smokes beautifully. Okay, that's my Savinelli P lip. Netflix, I have several of those. But I'm di I love these cobs, man. I, I love corn cobs. It's a beautiful summer day here, and you're supposed to have corn on the cob in the summer. So I'm going to have corn on the cob. Well, maybe tobacco on the cob. Um, this is my Missouri Meerschaum kernel, and uh, it's a P lip. It's a homemade P lip. Let me show you what I've done. Just a standard straight stem. I put a uh, a rubber soft or a softy bit on there, and if you notice on the end, I've plugged it and I've drilled my hole on the top here. My homemade P lip. But you know what? Man, do I dig this thing. And in it, I have some I have some tobacco that I'm really enjoying lately. Uh, this is Sutliff 965 Match. I'm sure uh, a lot of you experienced pipe smokers know that a match if it means that they're trying to replicate a, another tobacco, in this case Dunhill 965, a, a very classic English blend, which I like. But this Sutliff 965 that I bought in bulk, um, it's just, it's a little, it's a little milder um, with, a, with that nice English sweet and sour uh, attributes that I enjoy. In, a, uh, in an English blend. And if you notice, the softy bit kind of mimics what goes on in a standard P-lip in that it lowers the, P, the, the hole a little lower so that you can clench it in your teeth, get the, get the draft hole behind your teeth so that you get a flow up into the roof of your mouth. Just, I just love that. I, I made a uh, another video uh, earlier about tongue bite, and I guess you know I've seen other videos where people talk that P lip doesn't really have an effect for for me. And if you're new to pipe smoking, I suggest you really try out the P lip. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe my tongue's a lot more sensitive than the rest of the world, but boy, since I started the P lip. Uh, smoking, I can smoke virtually anything without any effect, without any tongue bite. Uh, Virginias, I, I mean, I was, I, I like them, I want to smoke them, I love the taste, but man, I have to like dance around so gingerly with a standard uh, uh, bit, but with a P-Lip, I haven't had any issues.
oh man, just, just love it. So, you know, <laughs> in the world of pipe smoking, uh, I, I don't, uh, I don't get to associate with a lot of pipe smokers. I don't. I, I occasionally go to this uh, lounge. Uh, unfortunately, you can't smoke anywhere in this state, the state that I live in, unless it's on an Indian reservation. So I, I go to this cigar lounge and uh, I smoke my pipe there and cigars. Uh, so I don't really get to interact too much with uh, other pipe smokers. So this is all sort of a, a private hobby I do on my own. I'm trying to share with YouTube here. So I could be doing this all weird. But you know what? Sometimes following the convention, the conventional wisdom of something may not always fit everyone. Um, you, where there's a will, there's a way. You, you find it. You got tongue bite, there's a ways around it. I've talked about it before. The P-lip for me has been a great a great remedy to tongue bite. Allowed me to widen my uh, palate a little bit. Uh, I'm pairing my Sutliff 965 with a little uh, it's, it's a weird coconut kind of a lemonade. Um, I don't I don't I don't drink alcohol, but uh, my pairing is a little milder than some I've seen on YouTube. But it's cold, cool, nice nice day. My dogs are running around here. So, loving my cob. Don't have to sacrifice my enjoyment of pea lips to have a cob. So, um, I recommend give it a shot. <laughs> Hell, what are the, the bits are like 49 cents a piece or something. I mean, you can't screw it up. The only question seems to be, okay, what do you plug the hole with? Um, in this one, don't tell anybody, probably highly poisonous, but I think I, I think I used JB Weld, a little bit of JB Weld to fill up that hole and, and uh, plug it. Some of my first experiments. Later, I uh, took some of my older Savinelli pipes that I like, that have standard uh, fishtail bits, and instead of plugging them permanently, I cut little pieces of rubber and sort of jammed into the end, drilled my hole. That way, should I want, I can pull the, the end out and run it, uh, a pipe cleaner through it and keep them clean that way. This has that standard problem with a little, you know, normal P-lips in that you know, twist and get the pipe cleaner down in there. But if you plug the hole with something temporary, pull it out, push it out from the other end if you need to. I just recommend you put it in there pretty tight so you ain't sucking that thing down the, not in your lungs, but I don't nail anyway. So, makeshift P-lips and Savinelli P-lips. Good match with my salt lift match. So, give it a shot. I don't know. I'm either crazy and uh, you probably shouldn't watch this video and take any advice from me, or maybe you've seen something here that didn't cross your mind. Uh, my mind is crossed, I tell you. Good luck. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.